Live, the news on NBC6 starts now. Terrible, terrible new symptoms. Seizures, night sweats, panic attacks. We have heard several stories of people diagnosed with COVID-19 who deal with the symptoms for several months. Well, tonight we hear the story of a man who is hoping a new FDA trial will help. Uh, and he's hoping that it will get him through the virus once and for all. So let's check in with NBC 6's Amanda Placenza, who has this story. Eli Moser was planning his dream wedding to his fiance Megan, but then he got COVID last March. We were three months away from our wedding when we got sick. Over the past 10 months, the 42-year-old has had to put his entire life on hold. He postponed their wedding, and the musician and copywriter has not been able to work since April of last year. I just had terrible, terrible new symptoms. Seizures, night sweats, panic attacks, insomnia. Eli is what some refer to as a COVID long hauler. In late May, I woke up and I wasn't able to use my legs. I couldn't walk at all for the whole morning. According to Aventura rheumatologist Dr. Norman Galis, Eli isn't the only one suffering. With COVID, maybe more than 10% of patients who have an acute case, whether it's severe or not so severe, may still months later be having symptoms that are very, very debilitating. And these patients who effectively by definition have had symptoms more than 12 weeks after they got COVID are now being called COVID long haulers. He also explained some of the science behind this phenomenon. What COVID does when it invades the body is that it triggers the immune system to produce a cytokine storm where all these so-called antibodies that normally are there to protect the body actually go into overdrive and cause problems wherever they land. Eli has been in and out of emergency rooms and hospitals, but nothing has helped. And that's where Dr. Galis comes in. The rheumatologist is approved to conduct an FDA trial of the drug Laronlamab. After doing some research on the trial, Eli and his fiance drove over 16 hours down from New York to be part of this small trial, which starts in March. There are only two trial sites for Laron on the map and I did not want to miss my opportunity and they're desperate to see some results. I just have my fingers crossed that that is really sort of the thing that's going to get me uh, back to my life and back to our life and back to the things that we planned. I'm 42. I never, I never in a million years would ever have dreamed that this is what would happen to me. And there are other long haulers who say the exact same thing. Reporting in Aventura, Amanda Placencia, NBC6 News.